Welcome to Twisted Sage Studios. I'd like to show you how to connect up to the Etheric templates of the tools today. When we were first creating the tensor rings, we were creating more of a science-based tool, something that was a very specific measure um, with intentions, but yet we were still connecting up to an Etheric template. Um, which is why that you cannot just take any sacred measure and be able to create a work tensor ring out of it. Um, it has to be created on multiple levels and then we're just simply manifesting it here onto the physical plane. So this etheric template, um, specifically the, the ascension and the harmony, which are what I call the etheric templates that go with the galactic cubit measure and the Teotihuacan standard unit. Um, so you can cut these measures, the, the galactic, let's say, you can cut that measure and create a working tensor ring, but you're not going to be able to get everything that it is capable of doing. Um, these etheric templates that I've created are housed, they're very well protected, they're in like this large dome inside of a pyramid, they exist on multiple dimensional levels, and it is the only way you can access these is through the sacred space of the heart. Um, so that is what I would like to share with you today, is just how to access these etheric templates. Um, you know, and again, you can cut these measures, but they'll be just like the the old measurements, like the 144 megahertz and the 177, and all those that had a measurable frequency to them. I consider them more of a sterile science-based tool, um, where the two new qubits that we're dealing with, the harmony and the ascension, are more of a consciousness tool. Um, within these templates, within these actual ascension rings and harmony rings, you can find you can find the frequencies and properties of all the earth elementals, fire, water, air, um, earth. You can also find the frequencies and properties of all the plant kingdom, of all the crystal kingdom, of all the mineral kingdom. Um, the council of light shine through these. There are so many who have assisted in the creation of these etheric templates. And so these things are all harmonized together. They are all brought through for the highest and greatest good of the person because they work with the person's higher soul self. Um, so anyway, um, I would love to be able to, to promote... Um, all of you to connect up to these etheric templates, to put them into the tools, to put them into the, the galactic, to bring in the ascension ring into the galactic cubit measure, and to bring in the balance and harmony ring into that Teotihuacan standard unit. Um, it just makes for a much more powerful tool. And they're always being upgraded too, these etheric templates are. Um, they can never be tainted. Uh, they are, like I say, very well protected. So you have a one-way ticket that I'm giving you to pull in these templates through the sacred space of the heart, put them into the wire as you are twisting it, because it is when the copper is being twisted that we're able to infuse all of this into the microcrystal of that copper. So again, the only requirements are that you are in your sacred space of the heart when you call in these qubits and it is as simple as an intention and it will happen. There are some other things that I would request and highly recommend and that is that you are clean and clear before you do all this work. Clean and clear as in you don't have energy attachments, you don't have entities, uh, you know, you don't have non-beneficial soul contracts. This is all stuff that you can find for free on our YouTube videos on the TwistedSage.com YouTube channel. Um, very simple processes just to help clear yourself. Having the Merkaba, I believe, is also a prerequisite to this because your Merkaba field is going to assist you in the connections to all the higher realms. 
So please uh, activate your Merkaba, do your clearing work, do your clearing before you pull in the Athuri template into your rings, and always be in the heart space when you're doing the creating. Um, so I appreciate that. I thank every one of you for moving this whole thing forward. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been creating these rings for a while, and um, you know, every time we create a ring, we are bringing more light onto this planet. And so I appreciate all that you do. Um, and I did want to say too that we are going to be creating some. Um, some measuring devices they're probably just going to be either a rod or a solid steel tube that we can um, cut to the exact measure for you if you so choose to purchase one of these things they're just going to be um, cut in our studio and we're going to measure them up against the digiscope that we have which measures it down to the thousands of an inch um, because the more precise that we can get this on the physical level the more potent this tool will be. You know, we can have our intentions that I'm cutting this to, you know, this hundred thousandths of a centimeter, like some of these measurements are, and through your intentions, it will work, so you do not have to be to the hundred thousandths of this centimeter. But the closer that we can get the physical to that of our intentions, to that of the etheric tool, the more potent our tool is going to be. Um, anyway, Thank you all again. I appreciate you, and uh, please um, go to sacredmeasures.com where you will find those specific measurements for um, all the tools that we are creating. And as we find more measurements, we're going to put those out there too. So, um, and if you find anything out there too, uh, please do share. Uh, this is what this is all about: is promoting this growth into the world and co-creating and sharing all this stuff. So anyway, all right. Thank you guys.